What's going on everyone? It's Sean from All Things EV and I'm back with another in-depth analysis. This one is going to be all about the Tesla semi-truck and the Nikola 2. I want to dive into the specs, compare them side by side and see which one matches up to be a better choice for those looking into buying a zero emissions semi-truck. Now, it all really depends on what you need and what you're looking for. I also want to give some context and put it up against a traditional diesel semi-truck just to see how much better these new generations of tech are. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, if you remember a couple of weeks ago in my recap of Nikola World, I did tease out this video and somewhere along the way, I accidentally deleted the video footage. So I'm doing this over again and it probably works out best because I've had a couple of weeks to sort of marinate and think about the comparison between the two. We're going to dive into the range of these two vehicles with a max gross vehicle weight of 80,000 pounds. A Tesla semi truck has a 300 mile or 483 kilometer range and a 500 mile 805 kilometer range. And the Nikola 2 offers a 500 mile 805 kilometer range and a 750 mile or 1207 kilometer range. To give you a comparison, a traditional semi truck typically is offered in a 500 mile and a thousand mile or 1609 kilometer range with that diesel tank. The drag coefficient of the Tesla semi they say is 0.36. Nikola did not share the drag coefficient of the Nikola 2, so we have no idea what that is. And a traditional diesel semi truck comes in around 0.77. So let's maybe assume that the Nikola 2 is somewhere in between those two. I don't think it's going to be as efficient as the Tesla semi truck. If you've seen videos of this, it does have a massive grill, and behind that grill is a huge radiator. What about the zero to 60 miles per hour times? Tesla semi truck does it in 20 seconds. And again, this is with a max gross vehicle weight of 80,000 pounds. The Nikola two does it in 30 seconds and a traditional semi truck does it in around 60 seconds. Horsepower, Tesla did not share that. Nikola two, however, did. And they said that it would be a thousand horsepower and a traditional Diesel semi truck 505 horsepower. What about the foot pounds of torque? Tesla did not share that either. Nikola did though, and they say it's 2,000 foot pounds, and a traditional semi truck varies, but somewhere around 1,700 foot pounds of torque. Motors, Tesla will have four as well as Nikola. Tesla does develop their motors in house and they will be using the Model 3 motors, which are incredibly efficient. Nikola said that they'll be using Bosch technology in their electric motors. Charge time for the Tesla is 400 miles and 30 minutes with their mega chargers. And for the Nikola, 15 to 20 minutes. And they did not specifically say whether that's a full charge or a par partial charge. I had the impression based on how they worded that, that that was a partial charge, similar to how Tesla did their 400 miles in 30 minutes or 80% basically in 30 minutes. And a traditional semi truck typically takes around 20 minutes to refuel. Autonomy. Tesla, of course, will be doing their own software and hardware for their vehicles. Nikola, they will be doing their hardware only and they will allow third parties to develop the software to complement the hardware that will come standard in their vehicles. And autonomy for a diesel truck, uh, though Uber and Auto are doing some things in that vein. I'm not entirely sure what that is, and it's probably a, a mixture of hardware and software from various companies. What about torque vectoring? Yes, the Tesla and the Nikola will both have that to give it maximum control. Warranty as well will be similar or competitive between the two companies, 1 million miles or 1.6 million kilometers. The windshield, this is something that Tesla talked about, but Nikola did not. This will be a, a proprietary windshield for Tesla. My guess is they're probably using the same technology in their solar tile roofs as they are for this Tesla semi truck windshield. 
cost per mile. This is another thing that companies who have commercial trucks keep a very close eye on. Tesla says that it will be a dollar and 26 cent cost per mile. For Nikola though, they're using hydrogen and the cost per mile is definitely a theoretical cost per mile because they have yet to get that, that hydrogen cost per kilogram down to an efficient level. At the moment, California Fuel Cell Partnership says that the current rate is around $13 per kilogram, and they expect to see that cost per kilogram get down to as low as $8. With a current $13 per kilogram cost at an 80 kilogram tank in that Nikola 2, a fill-up is going to cost $1,040. However, with that theoretical 90 cents per mile, that would be $675 to fill up that 750 mile hydrogen tank. That's in comparison to the Tesla. They say the cost per kilowatt hour will be seven cents. And at a thousand kilowatt hour tank, that's $70 to charge up their largest battery pack offering. Tesla also throws in an additional metric, truck platooning. They say that that will reduce the dollar and 26 cent cost per mile down to 85 cents per mile with the truck platooning. Nikola is probably going to be a quite a bit a ways away from platooning as they are going to be relying on third party companies to develop the software for their autonomy. Neither Tesla or Nikola went into the details of their cost per mile and how they came up with that. So it's a little bit difficult to do an apples to apples comparison, but at least that gives you a general idea. There's a couple of takeaways that I've got after looking at these two vehicles. Number one, I think Tesla will have to keep in mind the weight of these battery packs. Everyone knows that lithium ion batteries are heavy, and I think that's why you see a range advantage with the Nikola over the Tesla. That's not factoring in any acquisitions that Tesla makes. For example, with Maxwell Technologies, it appears like with Maxwell's dry battery electrode technologies that it will increase the energy density and potentially decrease the range of the battery packs, thus giving Tesla's range on their batteries an uptick. A challenge that I see with Nikola is proving out the hydrogen production process. At the moment, there's not that established production process. And that, of course, is one of the things that they intend on doing in conjunction with Nell the Norwegian publicly traded company that has had a long history in producing hydrogen and the technology that goes along with it. One of the other challenges that I think Nikola will face is building out this refueling network. To date, it just does not exist for commercial vehicles. This is something that Tesla has a ton of experience in building out a fast charging network with their consumer vehicles. And I think it will be an incredibly easy transition to building out their commercial side of the mega chargers for their Tesla semi truck and electricity is far more readily available than hydrogen is. So to me, this will be an interesting play here. Who will have the advantage? I've got a feeling it's going to be Tesla just because they've got more experience and the power source electricity is readily available. That wraps up this video comparing the Tesla Semi and the Nikola 2. Hope you really enjoyed it. Big shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for throwing some cash my way for all of this effort to create this content that you all enjoy. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you're a regular, hit the like button and I'll see everyone on the next video.